Hey guys, welcome back to Control. I just, we just got psychokinesis, telekinesis from what I'm jokingly referring to as the floppy disk of telekinetic rage because it was throwing stuff at us the whole time. Um, so we just, uh, I, I actually just recorded an episode and I sucked uh, horribly. Um, almost as much as my microphone which was completely useless, apparently. So I thought, you know, I, I could go back, but I didn't actually get to where I needed to go anyway, which is here. So you guys are just going to... I think you may have missed one or two notes or something. I do apologize about that, but... Uh, man, this guy's whooping my butt, so... Uh, you're going to see it, so here we go. Wish me better luck this time. Okay. Go, 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 go. Great. Okay, so I. Hmm. Whoa. Hello. He's like a freaking sniper with those things. I think the first time I tried, the first couple times I tried to do this, there were. I was just using telekinesis uh, launch, I guess, as they're calling it in this game, because he kept dodging my bullets. But then I watched a couple things. I was like, I don't know, dude. I'm, just, I don't know, guys. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go uh, figure out how to not suck so much because I really bit the big one that first two times, really. But I am tinging him here and there. I'm gonna have some ads here in a second. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. I also gotta remember these guys, much like with Doom. Yipes! These guys uh, are always moving. So I gotta kinda do the same. You. Gotta remember those guys are good. They give me more health. Whoa, 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 whoa. Really? Dang it. Oh, come on now. What is the... Hold on, guys. I gotta... Uh, how do I... Switch sides. Shoot a toggle crouch. Toggle side is R. Okay, that's right, because we don't have to reload. So R is the toggling that I'm looking for. Okay. Sorry for that. Oh. That wasn't good. Ah! <gasps> Those fools shooting rockets at me? Come on now. That's not even right. Okay. So, what's going on? Who's doing what? Where's the. Holy crap, somebody. Oh, come on now, really? Staying down here. I'm not gonna lie. Oop, and then there's. Run, run, run! Run! No! I 
feel like I'm not hitting him. Oh, there's something I need to pick up. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess I know where he's coming from. The question is... smart. I don't want to do this fight, man. He, like, just whooped me good when I was... Uh, earlier. Kind of surprised that guy doesn't jump over the ledge. Glad he doesn't, but... joke. kind of need to go up and get the health from that other dude, but good god, I'm really kind of fearful of doing so. Run, 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 run! Run, 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 run! <laughs> bob and weave, girl, bob and weave. It's gonna suck as that dingleberry from the top has surprised me. Don't you dare have that dude from up top drop me. You better drop a lot of health. I have a feeling he'll be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, give me all of the healths. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. Did the did the do up dude up top just go? Did the ads just bugger off? Cause if so <laughs> good to know. Tea time. Oh my god, you guys, you don't even know. I spent like, a, I spent like 45 minutes dying to that fool. Uh, I'm glad that... Uh, it's weird, because every once in a while that'll happen, I'll have like my audio completely go out, and it's usually when I'm totally sucking, and so it's like I usually don't use the video anyway. But at any rate, so uh, yeah, I guess we shall continue on, thankfully. Still have a lot to uncover, unlock, uh, a lot of game mechanics we haven't even barely started with, but... Okay, uh, tea time. Federal Bureau of Control. Hey, Malcolm. Yes, tea time is at 7. I'll see you at the course on Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about this Tennyson report? Apparently there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trench is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have heard anything about that, would you? See you Sunday, Jim. Okay. Oop. Oh, and there's research and records. Hiss Elevated. 
field research his elevated agent uh, display ability similar to TK competencies observed in Bureau peri utilitarian some prefer to charge their odd targets uh, while others launch objects at them telekinetic attacks have been a ineffective against the Hiss Elevated due to their own talent in the area. Okay, well, that would explain why I was sucking so much. Uh, I mean, I was hitting him here and there, but, I mean, yeah, apparently the service weapon was more helpful. Uh, they do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural abilities, some Hiss uh, capabilities. Uh, some Hiss Elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is unlike, this is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? It is possible these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption. It's also worth considering that the Hiss residents can identify an express latent paranatural ability in the individuals that corrupts. Refer to file blank for full report. Okay. Well, that kind of explains why I was really sucking against that dude, because it's like, what the hell, man? Like, I was just... And he, he was dodging both bullets and things I was throwing, and I was just having the damnedest time with both. I think I kind of had f just started to figure out at the end of my last run, before I took a break and came back to it, that uh, when they're flying... When they're actively uh, or levitating and flying around, they're really difficult to throw things and shoot at because they can dodge. But when they're um, when they're holding things, particularly in his case on both sides, there was it's like it kind of takes more focus from them, so they can't dodge quite as easily. I think it seems so far. Don't quote, I'm not a hundred percent on it. But I'm thinking that's the case. Man, this game is no joke. Okay, so we're going to come back to that. This game is really, I mean, like, I did not expect the combat to be so difficult. And frankly, in a lot of games like this, uh, when the combat is difficult, they'll give you some options. Uh, particularly if it's a really strong narrative storyline. It's like, you know, give, just give me the story, please. And I rarely take that, although I have been known to take the level above. Okay. Uh -huh. Hmm. What's this? I th think... Wait a second. No. Okay, yeah. There was a... I did a little bit of exploring. I got a couple of mods and a couple of things. Uh, oops, whilst uh, I was recording that other thing, but it's really not worth playing for 38 or 42 minutes or whatever it was of me just getting my ass handed to me repeatedly. Huh, so the ads did disappear when the boss was done. That's interesting. I... You know what? Sorry. I just realized uh, I need to go and save. <laughs> Because I don't want to do that again. I'm not sure. It does seem to autosave. Yeah, because I got my little area over here. Yeah, I don't want to take a chance. Thank you kindly. So just fast travel so far. There's apparently a lot more thing. Oh, like I said, there's still a lot more to uh, unlock in this game. So we shall continue. I wonder if those are still going to be there when I come back and need them in five minutes. <laughs> Appreciate you guys coming along for the game and the playthrough. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're having a safe and fun holiday season. Whether you choose to celebrate it or abstain or be selective in the aforementioned, etc. Did I? I don't think I ever got to the... Can I climb up? I don't think I ever got to the top floor. How do you... I mean, maybe later, I guess. Probably once I get... Uh, flight. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Been playing since Pong. Oh, sorry, yeah. So that's something we're going to use for some sort of currency or another. Here. Ooh, it's upstairs. But summary, I mean, Butte summary. Uh, 
Let's see. A spate of disappearances was traced to home in the city of Butte, uh, Abbey, Montana, I'm assuming, where Bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home, home of a local celebrity located at blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house blank days later, found by found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. A new area of the house. How does that even happen? The light switch cord in the Butte's home, home's closet disappeared during this incident. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Okay. I mean, I, I, I knew and I'd heard that this game basically all takes place within the single building. But... Roberto Tomasi, head of... Comms. Hmm. Comms. Interesting. The hiss got him. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that's a given. All right, take this down. The situation. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an altered item would show up inside a U.S. embassy? <laughs> Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, actually, and you know what I just thought of? Uh, so I did... Let's see. So I think the only thing you guys missed was this. So I'll play this for you. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 20 I did this before I died to him repeatedly and had the audio shut out, cut out anyway, so... Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan tells... Yeah, I guess I can't story. do anything until they're done, but Quincy. that's fine. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicicon. I was in room 47. The night manager, an <laughs> avid listener of the program, insisted Suspicion I pick Kong. this particular room. That's like the best. <laughs> now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed. Inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have, and the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. Dun, dun, it was dun. dark and stiflingly hot. <laughs> Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange. Something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, <laughs> Toaster's when possessed. no one else believes you, we do. <laughs> America Overnight, we'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I think that's about all you guys has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. missed the mysterious from last episode. affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. So, okay, that's what just played. So, apparently it's one uh, building, but yet there's different sectors, which are different levels. So we're on the uh, executive sector. So it's one building, but it's all these different... 
thing I'm sure this will change eventually oops my bad so yeah still kind of kind of getting to know all of this stuff the hotline can't be far now yeah one of the things I had to figure out too is uh, they had a uh, the default is uh, I play on keyboard and mouse, which uh, basically means you're using WASD for moving around. Uh, letters Q and E are popular to tap or hit, or maybe R to, um, you know, reload, stuff like that. But you actually had to hold down E whilst moving around and aiming, and it's like, I, you can't do that with the same hand. So I remapped, there we go. I remapped, uh, or I gave an alt, so I'm just pushing in on the mouse button. Oh, please. Minus seven. Oh, okay, so. So that apparently is that, uh, whatever the three pines is what it looks like, because I don't think those are really arrows, uh, is what I use to upgrade stuff once I get there, but I haven't unlocked whatever it is that enables me to do that yet, obviously, which is why I'm trying to I just push forward. There's a bunch of side missions and all sorts of stuff in this game. Wait, is it this? I guess not. I hope not. Hmm. Butte Supplement. Details. According to their testimony, the agents have been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino, which in Butte, Montana is funny because there's no ocean, and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. See file MOT01. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which keeps recurring, uh, which they only learned after a lengthy bit of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found outside, uh, in, found inside this room, uh, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and the other locals of Butte have been uh, have been attributed to the light sort bleh, to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, blank light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the blank and blank sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is blank, but initial hypotheses uh, center on the Butte AWE, or Altered Rule Event, as a blank. See Dr. Darling presentation 24.3 for more details. Okay, and when we did get that one that was down in the slaughtering room is what I'm calling it now, because I just died so many freaking times in there. Research and records, hotline security log, basically director Tr Trench and the custodian Bill Everett with Carl Bishop being the most recent. What's, okay, so this game came out August 27th, 2019, and all of, some of these dates are before then, and some of them are after. 11-11, hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Not sure what, if anything, that means or what have you. And the hotline object of power. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Oh. <laughs> Green logic. Can I? The light switch cord. Nope. Well, okie dokie. So. <laughs> okay, so unlike Jedi Fallen Order, where I just kind of reset and take a little nick off the old health of Rooney, um, yeah, that just happened. Okay, so. Good to know. Still learning the ins and outs of this game. This game is for uh, for something that's I don't know. I guess I it's it's not what I'm ex what I had expected. It's not a, not that that's a bad thing. It's just uh, it's a lot more intense uh, and and non forgiving than I would expect a game. Usually games with psychic powers and flying stuff are going to be a little bit more. No, well, maybe not. 
I guess part of the freedom is the freedom to die and make poor decisions, so. Okie dokie. So let's try that again. Minus the suck. <laughs> Crap. Uh, where was I? There we go. They're like, haha, you have to do the do the battle again. Wait. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Uh, I was kidding. Bitch. Mama's a little angry. Motherfucker. Come on, bring it on, Sally Sasselot. Got more for you. Got more where that came from. Japan. Oh, hello. Anybody else? Apparently. Where well, the scary music would go down. No? Hmm. Undefined reading. Headshot boost. I like that. So actually, there is a reason to attack these guys more than once. So this is, indicates to me that there's more enemies. They're probably upstairs. In fact, the music's all still... Da -da -da. Oh! Bye! Whoa! What? Okay. <gasps> Boom! That was the dynamite. Uh-oh. <laughs> Damn. Another question is, do I take fire damage? Apparently not. Okay. Well, well it's not. A little forgiving on that note, I guess. So this is the way back out to the area we were just in. I wonder why I decided to repopulate this room with bad guys. I wonder. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I'm getting more material, so I'm assuming that's good. Hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> again, I kind of feel like I should go back and save again, but... We, and yeah, and it saves... Okay, yep. So, ritual attunement required. Motel of the personal frequencies. Law of three. I don't know what that means. If I do that, it brings me back to the building. Huh. Whoa. Have we been here before? Oh, rule of three. <laughs> no. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road. On the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. 
Hmm. Interesting. All right, guys. Well, uh, let's see. Unmapped area. I think I'm going to call it here for today, and then we will pick up uh, next episode from this point. So thank you again for swinging by. I hope you guys are enjoying the game and the playthrough. If you are, do me a huge favor and hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and don't hit, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get all my latest videos when I post them. I do try to post something every day, seven days a week, shoot for one o'clock Pacific, off a little. Uh, most of the time I'm on there. So um, on that note, Thanks again for swinging by. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye-bye.